Red Nation blogger back with another video. I'm back, y'all. USA beat South Sudan by 17 points. I don't think this game was really competitive. I think that there were moments where it may have looked like it would be competitive. There were moments where it looked like Team USA was letting go of the rope and, you know, potentially letting South Sudan come back and get this game within five to six points. But I think a, a large part of that was just USA taking a foot off the pedal. LeBron James with 12 points, Kevin Durant with 14 points, Bam Adebayo, 18 points, Devin Booker, 10 points, Anthony Davis, 8 points. Uh, everybody contributed. All that crying, all that whining about Jason Tatum not playing last game, and he goes out there and he has four points, and he doesn't really play well. He didn't impact the game at all which is what I did not understand why so many people were upset why this guy didn't play in a game where USA handled Serbia handedly. Not only do you make up for not playing him by actually playing him, but you put him in a starting lineup. And then when you put him in a starting lineup, what did he do? He didn't come out there and look like Kevin Durant did when Kevin Durant came back from his injury in his first game. He didn't do that. He, he barely did anything. So what was the point of the crying? I didn't understand. Tyrese Halliburton in less minutes did more than what Jason Tatum did offensively tonight. Like, I don't understand this whining and nobody complained. Nobody said anything about Tyrese Halliburton not getting minutes. Meanwhile, you got guys that complained and cried about Derek White being on the team. And Derek White was arguably Team USA's best player today. He was definitely the best perimeter defender. He impacted the game with steals, with blocks. He ran the offense. He threw he threw lives. He hit threes. Derek White played a phenomenal game. He was three of three from the field. Three of three from the field. Three of three from three. Missed the free throw. Three steals plus 18. Derek White, the guy that nobody thought deserved to be on this roster, is the one that played the hardest and, and showed up the most. It's just, it doesn't make sense what the things that we complain about as Americans when we're watching the game. Joel Embiid didn't play. Nobody's going to shed a tear because Joel Embiid hasn't been tearing it up. So I don't understand why he would need it to play. USA handled South Sudan handedly. There was no need to put Joel Embiid in the game whatsoever at all. Bam Adebayo off the bench, 8 of 10 from the field. Bam Adebayo was 2 of 3 from 3. He, was, he played really well today. But as I said, Derek White... And Bam Adebayo were the two best players for Team USA today. LeBron James started off hot. Once he went to the bench, he struggled. He never really found his rhythm. And Steve Kerr, I know that Steph Curry is your boy. But outside of Devin Booker, he got the second most minutes today. He finished with three points on one of nine shooting, one of and was 0 of 6 from three. He didn't score until like a meaningless layup when the game was handily decided like at the seven minute mark he scored that was the only bucket that he scored today and one of the things that i never got to discuss that a lot of people were talking about before the olympics was oh the three-point line was shorter i don't see how that is necessarily going to help steph steph is used to shooting from a certain range so maybe he should start shooting shots from a little bit further away at the nba range to get more accustomed to that muscle memory and having that back. Maybe the shots will start to fall if he doesn't shoot directly on the line and, and, and extends his range out a little bit because maybe the shortened three-point line is hurting him. But Steph was a no-show today. Offensively, he was a no-show. He provided nothing. Then, defensively, a lot of the buckets that South Sudan was getting when they started to whittle away the lead, was Carly Jones attacking Steph Curry, getting to the rim at will and one scoring. And the whole time, Steve Curry just letting him get out minutes. I'm, I'm screaming at the TV, put Derek White in, put Derek White in, put Derek White in. Obviously, Derek White closed the game tonight. He finished with 17 minutes, but he should have had Steph Curry's minutes. I'm, I'm tempted to say send Steph Curry home. I've been saying send Jason Tatum home. I've been saying send Joel Embiid home. I'm tempted to say send Steph Curry home because he has not impacted. He has not played great this in the exhibition games nor has he played get great in the first two games of the real pool play he's not played well so i don't really know why he's out there anthony davis was great today he got the starting uh nod played 19 minutes was four or seven from the field had seven rebounds and two blocks he was a minus five but he was impactful when he played the starting lineup was just clunk the starting lineup has been really clunky 
One of the reasons why the starting lineups is really clunky is because they're trying to get Steph going. They're, they're literally LeBron. It was like three or four possessions. I think two of them led into a turnover and maybe one or two led to a bucket. LeBron's at the top of the key just holding the ball in a triple threat position while Steph Curry is trying to get open. Like, that is not the way to play an Olympic play unless you're going to commit to that and play that way the entirety of the game. If that's going to be your system, if that's not going to be your system, I don't see the need to play like that. Steph Curry needs to get in where he fit in. He needs to ISO, run the floor, try to cut. He needs to just do that because running plays for him, like LeBron is Draymond Green, that's not the way, that's, that's not the way that this team is going to play. They're not going to do that. And Steph Curry is not shooting well enough in these Olympics for that to even be a set that needs to be called. It's just it's, it's unnecessary. But that's pretty much all I got. I, I do want to say one thing. I want to salute South Sudan for losing to Team USA in the exhibition games by one point. You woke Team USA up. You know, you woke them up. You made them pay more attention to you. You made them pay more attention to detail. You made them lock in, and they knew how to handle you this time around. They knew how to handle you, and we got the result that we got. Sometimes you have to be scared in order to be at your best. And they got a healthy respect from Team USA. They got a healthy attention to detail from Team USA. And they shut down Carly Jones for majority of the game. He kind of got off a little bit in that second half, just a little bit, not too crazy. And in the fourth quarter, he scored some meaningless buckets. But, hey, I'm not going to knock him. This is the Olympics. You got to keep scoring until the clock go out. But that's all I got. USA is going to win gold. Like, let's let's just be honest. USA is going to win gold. As always, thank you for watching. Like and comment below. Let me know what I missed. Let me know what you saw. Let me know if you agree or disagree with any of my takes. Red Nation Blogger, out.